Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today's one I'm going to be showing you everything that I eat throughout the day while I'm intermittent fasting. You guys know I've been doing this for a while now. So right now it's actually way past the time period that I usually start eating. I kind of just had a busy morning so this is kind of going to be like my lunch and breakfast so like brunch I guess. <laughs> so right now I'm going to be pan frying some bacon and I'm also going to be washing some green onion and also five golden potatoes. So this is going to be the perfect amount for two people. So after the bacon is done being cooked. I use the fat from the bacon to cook the potatoes and how I season the potatoes I put salt pepper and also some dried up parsley and you guys this is super flavorful it literally reminds me of like going to Mimi's cafe And now I'm just using my kitchen scissors to start slicing up the bacon because I'm going to be putting that on top of the potatoes. And of course, I'm going to be adding some green onion. I love green onion, so I'm going to be putting it on top of like everything. And I'm also going to start frying up two eggs. And that is basically what I'm eating for brunch today. And of course, I have to have some of my Tabasco. I love a little spice in my life. So it is about like one o'clock now and the kids, like we just need to get them out of the house. It's spring break. So they go a little crazy if we have them cooped up in the house for so long. And I think right now, did you see that? Did you see that on the camera? My kids are crazy. Emma, chill. So Ethan got a kindness reward and he got like a free something. So we're gonna go to like an ice cream place and I'm probably gonna get like tea because they sell like boba tea. So I'm probably gonna go and get that. Also, I wanted to mention, I changed my outfit. I just was not feeling the outfit felt weird. So I just threw this on. But we're gonna go ahead and go before they start like hurting each other. Let's go, come on. Um, that actually ended up being a fail. I ordered some like boba tea. I thought I liked boba for some reason. I just swore I liked it. I think I tried it a long time ago. I thought I liked it, but I tried this one and I just took a sip of it and I just did not want to finish it. I'd rather eat something else with the same type of carbs than like, you know, drinking something. I'm really like being tortured, like <laughs> drinking, if that makes sense. So today is actually going by so fast. It's crazy. It's already 3.44. And I want to stop eating at 6, so I'm going to make myself a snack right now. Um, we actually have a bag of avocados there in the back. They're actually getting um, bad already, so I want to hurry up and use those up so, you know, we don't just throw them in the trash and it'll be such a waste. So I'm going to make some guacamole out of it. Here is the avocados. They're really soft. I used one this morning. That's like the thing I hate about getting avocados. They get bad so fast that so you really have to just only buy a couple at a time, but I just wanted to pick up a bag. And I'm also going to be eating some of these sea salt chips. I'm also thawing out some cooked shrimp because that is the plan for dinner tonight. But right now, we are going to be making some guac. So I'm definitely not going to lie. This wasn't the best like guacamole I've ever had in my entire life. We didn't have all the ingredients like on hand. So this was fine, but it just definitely wasn't like my all-time favorite guacamole, you know?
some sea salt, and some black pepper. So that is gonna be my snack for today. I'm just putting some chips. I open it like a gorilla. I'm trying to be sanitary or I'll just eat it out of the bag. If I didn't have that boba tea, like I literally would have had a cup of coffee, but I'm just gonna be having Coke Zero. It has some caffeine and it's like a good wake me up too. Okay guys, so for dinner tonight, I'm gonna be frying up some asparagus. I just put my pan on like a medium-ish high heat and then I put some olive oil and how I season my asparagus, I put garlic powder and salt and pepper. I feel like I've used like very minimal like seasonings on my food. I really just go by salt and pepper like crazy. Um, but that's what I'm gonna be doing. And then once it's fried up for a little bit, I put some water and then I cover it so that way it can get nice and soft. So since the shrimp that I got is already pre-cooked, I don't really have to do too much to it at all. I just put some olive oil and I also added a ton of garlic powder. Like, you know, you don't want to be shy with this. Um, it's going to make it like really flavorful. And then of course, salt and pepper and some parsley. Looks pretty. Then I just put all of it on a pan and then start pan frying them for maybe like a good four minutes until it's like nice and like brown. And that is basically it for dinner. Honestly guys, I really didn't even finish this. I had like like half of my plate and then like I just stopped eating. I was pretty full after that. You know what? I actually take that back. I just really wanted to have a treat before I stopped eating. Okay, so I picked up a bagel from Sprouts. It's basically just a normal looking bagel um but random fact about me guys i have to have like some type of sweet before like i stop eating or just at least once a day because i'm like addicted to like having treats if i don't treat myself i will like ruin my fast and i have like this bunch of cravings throughout the night so i like to at least eat something sweet so i'm probably not gonna eat all this the kids really like bagels so i'll probably just have half for myself i shouldn't have cut it kind of ruined it but it'll be fine like that So I'm a little bit weird, but I'm going to be putting some brown sugar on top because it needs to be sweet because I got the biggest sweet tooth. I have to have some type of dessert basically every day. It's like a problem for me. Mm. Perfect way to start your fast. 